Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Hello everybody, Rusty Ground here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We saved the Moshe. We uh, basically cleared the, uh, the, the Ket... I don't know what to call it. The Ket... Um, holy ground, maybe? It's where they were transforming Angarans into Ket. So we found out, basically... Like what the Ked are doing with uh, with uh, the Angarans that they are um, abducting, and now we have uh, the Moshe here. She's a little bit weakened, but she did tell us that we can talk to her whenever we want. Uh, and now uh, our mission is to bring her back to Aya and uh, continue onwards from there. So let's have a chat with her. Just need to rest up a bit while I recover my strength. Oh, oh, okay, I get it. Um, okay, let's talk to everybody else then. Uh, let's see, let's see how the crew is doing overall, and what are their impressions of uh, our past missions. Let's see now. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Okay, Sam, gotcha. Oh, Callum, hello. Settle down. What's going on? If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Best friend, friend? Oh, okay. Oh, Callo. Callo's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? Um... I don't know. Is there a rush? Just saying, if I'd created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. Now you're just playing with me. <clears throat> so radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Mm -hmm. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Okay. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. Okay, so I see. I see how this is going. We should be going to Eos again. Um, okay. Let's see now. The hell you did? You can't just undo ten hours of work. Not again. I had to. Your revamp risks power imbalance between decks. Something we solved back home. It's twice as efficient. Just because it doesn't match your sainted specs... And now it does. As you say, deal with it. Callow. <sighs> I know, just please don't let this distract you. I don't like this uh, uh, fighting between these guys. Um, do we have any emails that we have? You Okay. Message from Vold, Intel on Ket. Greetings, Pathfinder. My name is Raelis. I serve the Angaran Resistance. Some of our scouts have returned with... Interesting information about the Ked that I'm certain it will intrigue you. I will wait for you on Vold. Please come soon. Great. Okay. Havarl Science Team... Uh, wait a second. Let me just... Uh... Oh, okay, never mind. Havarl Science Team Deployment Pathfinder Team. The Nexus has approved a request for a multidisciplinary team to be posted on Havarl, a.k.a. Habitat 3, to assist with the Angaran efforts there. Primary team members, Dr. Hawkins McIntyre, Zine... Xeno Anthropology Team Lead, Zera Cassian, Botany, Environmental Engineer, Farley Berra, Entomology, and Cody Holdren, Quartermaster. Both Angara and Nexus teams have expressed interesting have expressed interest, I presume, in having Pathfinder the Pathfinder visit Havarl again to observe cross-cultural efforts. Benedict uh, Geffen on behalf of Director Addison. Okay, gotcha. Stress tests from Callow. Hello, Ryder. Quite the rescue. The Tempest isn't intended for these kinds of operations, but she's performing splendidly. Not that I encourage you risking your life for stress tests or anything. Still, well done. I spoke to the Moshe about... Uh, sorry, I spoke to the Moshe when I happened past Med Bay. She left an impression, I must say. Patient, but remarkably driven. It's easy to see how she withstood the pressure of torture and that place. Sometimes I wonder what my people could do with a bit more time to be patient. Okay, look, callow. Poker Journal from Gil. 
I seem to have misplaced my poker journal. It's where I keep notes on all the others, their tendencies, tells the others, tells and other insights. It sure would be awful if one of them happened to find it. P.S. It's a, it's a fake and I placed it in a public so they'd find it. Don't tell. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, Gil. Should be sleeping, but again from Gil. Worked for 42 hours straight. Ships humming. Called it quits to get a little shut eye but I'm wide awake here figured I'd use the time to practice my poetry didn't know I practiced poetry neither did I probably because I don't but here it goes Halius are you healing us what the fuck uh, or will we regret ever coming because the kit are forever bumming our space wait a minute is that actually good or has the analytical sphere of my brain fallen asleep oh my god Okay, never mind, again from Gil. You know how uh, I'm out here searching for my true purpose? Yeah, poetry ain't it. Helios, are you healing us? Sheesh. <laughs> I didn't say anything, you said it. Um, still a home even if it not ours from Liam. Proud of Havarl. I mean, sure, living there wouldn't be fun. That planet is one pterodactyl away from a Jurassic funfair. But what we did for the Angara will go a long way to making us good neighbors. We need that, especially with the scourge restricting the neighborhood. Security is str is training up on what the locals know about local fauna. Outpost or not, Havarl helps. Costa. Liam has included a list of media themed to community. Genres include century-old situation comedies and documentaries about research partnerships. Also, a musical about a man-eating plant. About Liam's movie night. Dear writer, I heard what Liam's planning. It seems like a great idea even if things are unsettled at the moment. I'd love to help out. Stop by when you can. Suvi. Um, okay, and I guess we read all of the other... Th okay, cool. Okay, Suvi. So... The swelling has gone down significantly. And I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Are you okay? Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? What? Have you ever heard of the lick test? No. Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. Oh my god, so you licked something? <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. Really? When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? Yes, she was, but she didn't, like, okay. She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants, they achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me. And then lived out their lives while I slept. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. I needed that. Anytime. Okie dokie. Um... Interesting. So, let's see now. Anybody else around here? We can only examine Pock. Okay. Um, okay. What else do we have here? So, where? who is where? Let's see. So, we have Cora and Jal in here. And then we have PB and... L PB and Lexi. Okay. Okay. Let's go then. Let's go have a chat with At them. we managed to save the Moshai. I only wish we could have saved more. Yeah, well. I can't help thinking that Asari reproduction and Ket exaltation are similar in a lot of ways. I can see it. 
The cat take other species' genes. Asari take other species' traits. PB, don't tell me we actually agree on something. <laughs> Changed my mind. They're nothing like. <laughs> Uh, can I just have a look really quickly at the strike team missions? Now, let's see what's going on here. It was a successful mission. Okay. And if I go here, as I've been told before, I have a bunch of... Okay, claim rewards. Oh, here we go. I have a bunch of these. Okay, so... Five bronze and five uh, bronze credit look boxes. So five bronze material material box. Let's see now. What is this? Kit fusion armor. What else do we have here? Shell filaments. I know I never I've never collected these, uh, but now I am. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Skill fibers, okay. Credit boxes. These are just credits, right? Okay, but it doesn't say how much credit you get. You have just collected a an item. Credits common. That's weird. For the credits, if it doesn't say what how much how much credit you got, uh, why don't you have like a button to? claim all the credit boxes at once. That's a little bit strange. Now, we can also... This is your current list of recruited strike teams. Select a team with space to equip them with special gear. Retire a team if you want to recruit fresh a fresh team in their place. The more strike teams you have, the more missions you can undertake at once. Select recruit team to, to recruit a new strike team. Strike teams on a mission can earn positive traits if they succeed and negative ones if they fail. Strike team traits can change the chances of success the team has on specific missions. Okay. Cool. So, X-ray. Let's see. Plus two effectiveness. Item traits plus two effectiveness. Um, oh, wait a second, these are the, okay, gotcha now. Now, next level, okay, level 6, uh, positive traits, stealthy, plus 10 to effectiveness when silent and deadly rugged, plus 10 to effectiveness during poor weather conditions, negative traits, poor, poor intelligence, minus 10 to effectiveness with key intelligence component, equipment traits, none. Can we equip team? Yes, we can. We can equip them with all sorts of stuff. Oh, we only have 70 mission funds. Okay, cancel. No, 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 no. Can I recruit a new team? 40 mission funds. Yep, recruit a new team here with these funds. Here we go, here we go. Tango, level 1. Uh, positive traits, nighttime operator. And no negative traits. Okay, exit. So if I go back into here, delay ship launches, hostage situation, mission traits, hostage situation and ket, alien presence, and then high risk, high reward. Okay, high risk, high reward. Um, okay, so uh, one second, one second. This expires in 20 hours. This expires in 8, 39 minutes. Um, okay, let's go with let's go with level level the level one team. Let's go like that. oh crap! 18 shit! I didn't read the damn it! I didn't read the chance of success. 86 on this one. 86 on this one. 38. Crap. No, I'm not gonna go with the 38. I'm gonna go with the 86 on this one because it um, it expires sooner. Damn it. Okay. 18% chance of success. This is not gonna happen. Okay. Well, we got that. Now, let's see here. What level are we? We are level 29. We need a little bit more to reach level 30 so we can research the Don shotgun. Going through the readouts from the cat facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. I don't know if you've noticed this, but 
for me in like um, what's it called in dialogues on the ship most of the times the dialogues are in 30 fps for some reason i don't know why if you guys have the same problem i'll let you get back to it i'll be here if you need me can you tell me if you manage to solve it i'm i'll i'm going to have to look it up online anyway just to see what the hell is going on but for me like most of the dialogues 99% of the dialogues on the ship happen in 30 fps which is Annoying, very annoying, especially like, yeah, when I'm trying to get to 60 FPS all the time. Writer, exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. Well, they're not really Angara. They're no longer Angara. They can't change them into something else. That's the atrocity. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. We haven't spoken in a while, so, um... Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador. Respected, living the high life. But miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the Initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna push it. But, uh, you know. I have to admit, when you invited me to your apartment, I thought you might be luring me there for something else. Mm-hmm. You thought, or you hoped? Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay, I like where this is going. I might have been hoping. That hope had crossed my mind as well. Okay. If Kalinda hadn't intruded, who knows what might have happened. I know, right? Damn Kalinda. Okay. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Yeah, I still haven't made up my mind on uh, who to actually romance. So, um, you know, just uh, just talking to people. Korra's there, Jal is uh, right here. Okay, so let's have a chat with Korra real quickly. See how she's doing. They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. That's what Jal faces every day. Now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. We got this. We're back to back, shoulder to shoulder, or whatever you like. Nothing phases you, does it? You always bounce back, smiling that smile, like you know it's just what I need. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nah, I wouldn't go with your fun to tease. Um. I'm pretty smart. Maybe I figured out something that made you happy. And sweet, too. What's a girl to do? I wish this could fix everything. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're flying blind. It'll take years to put all the pieces back together. Our biggest headache is the Ket. Work goes on, I guess. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I need to look into that as well. We need to. We need to go back to Vold because I believe that's where um, <clears throat> the Asari um, ship is, or at least like information about the ship. 
Some vault, I Joe? Think. Not talking to me? I get it. I can't imagine how you're feeling. I'll just go. Don't. You saved the Moshai. I won't forget that. I'm not gonna say that was the mission because I know why he's upset. He's upset that we didn't save the other Angaron, but on the other hand, the other Angaron were not Angaron anymore. They were already, like, they weren't transformed, but they were, like, mind um, um, brainwashed. I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm that close. You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. What? My family's small. And... Are you close? Oh, man. I mean, depends on what you say. Like, family. Like, I'm, I would be close to my sister, but not my father. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go with yes. I was? I was, Damn. exactly. My mom and dad are dead. Yeah. My sister's really sick. She's on the Nexus. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Well put. Well put. Yeah. Okay. Well, this random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. Glad you're along for the ride. Me too. Okay. Anything else? We've talked enough for now. Whoa. I'm still processing our disagreement. And I need some distance. Gotcha. No problem. I was hoping we were past this, uh, Jal. Okay, so um, let me see now. Who else is where? So we have, I think Gil is over here. Okay, but where is... Okay, Vetra and Drak. Okay, gotcha. Let's have a chat with Gil then. I'm in the galley when you're free. Mm -hmm. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, do you think you'll have kids? Uh, <laughs> why do you ask? Why is that on your mind? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while you were killing me at poker. She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it, we're basically here to spawn. Um... It took you this long to figure that out? <laughs> I told you. I didn't really think this thing through. But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. <laughs> True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? <laughs> the biological imperative is kind of a bummer. <laughs> there are other ways to reproduce. It doesn't have to come from a romantic relationship. I guess I could donate DNA or however it works. Mm -hmm. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gun moved on before I was born. I had no idea. It must have been hard. Hey, I turned out alright. 
He did his part, brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. Well, glad we, we had this chat, buddy. So, let's see now. Let's have a let's have a chat with uh, Vetra and um, and Drak, and see how they feel about this whole thing. Come on. Looks like pictures of the exaltation chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Come on, you're strong. Smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later. Okay. Chat later, Vetra. What about Drak? What is he doing? Liam? Uh, Li oh, sorry, Liam? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vault. Kicked them in the teeth. Great. But the cats steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Joe. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, uh, everyone is all, can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. Okay, but we are outsiders, like, um... Uh... Liam, we're not from here, and never will be. But we are here. We can't always be strangers, there's no room. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it... It has to be normal. I need something... familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything from the Milky Way? One or two things, but the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. Whoa. From when that mattered. My whole family works in it together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means.
It means your family, the Angara, this team. We're all lucky you care so much. Uh, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. <laughs> Join the club. The screw up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. Come on, man. Cheer up. This will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Good. That's the right mindset for this, Liam. Okay. Um, where is Drak again? Drak is... Oh, okay, here we go. Drak is here and Sam. Okay, so let's go. Let's have a chat with Drak. Um... Well, technically... Wait a second. Technically nothing. It's technically... Yeah, we should have... Yeah, we were... We should be going... To our... Quarters. Yeah, gotcha now. Sorry, my mistake, my mistake. Let's go back here. That's right. And here we go. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. Well, he is a threat, but like, come on. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Are you serious? Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, <laughs> blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. Um. <laughs> There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists, and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. Yeah, but he wasn't expecting us. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> We'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Yeah, well, the question is, is he like the big kahuna? Or is there someone above him? That's the, that's the real question. Hello, writer. Exploring the Exaltation Facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons and no not will be destroyed. That's a fair description of Exaltation. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it, destroys it. I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why don't Threshamores eat comedians? Because they taste funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you still need to work on that. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if the Moshai wants to talk to us. Um, but... Wait, 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 wait a second. The Moshai is actually down, down here. I don't know why I went up. Come on. Let's go. Moshe, I was. She is. Just off to the cargo bay if you need me. Okay. Uh, okay, there she is. Um. 
just need to rest up a bit while I recover my strength. I see. Okay, so I guess we should go to Eos and then we will have, uh, like, the Moshe will be recovered by then because I kind of want to talk to her before we get her back to Aya. So I think the best thing now would be to go to. Let me just have a look here really quickly. Uh, return the Moshe to Aya. Okay, that's a priority op. But if we go to. What? Meet with Raylis on Vold. Oh, okay, got it. Um, Helios assignments. Havaral. We have a new mission here. Cross-cultural alliances. And return to Sage. Wait for a way to cross the chasm to Old Palav. Palav. Okay. Um, Nexus. Nothing here. Additional tasks. No? Completed missions? No. What the hell? I thought we needed to return to... Um, find Rokar manifestos on Havarl. I thought we needed to return to Eos for some reason. Huh. Okay. Contact director... Contact director Addison from Havar by activating Havar's lost monolith and resetting the vault. You prevented the planet's destruction. And Garon scientists at the Pelav research station expressed an interest in working with initiative teams. Director Addison dispatched several researchers to the planet and has asked you to check in on the situation there. I see. Um. Okay. Well. Uh... I still kind of want to go to Eos, guys. Old orbit is steady. I still want to go to Eos. So, where is Eos again? Havarl. Eos is right here. So, let's let's head down there. Because like why would I don't know, why would uh, Kalo and Suvi talk about it if we weren't supposed to Pythia go system, there? Home of Eos and Podromos. Yeah. Okay, so... Eos, yeah, I need to scan the... Um, I need to scan the system anyway. So, let's do this. Go, go, go!